This is a demonstration of the VET Tech spreadsheet. First of all, let us bring up the spreadsheet here. And you'll see that right now I'm on one of the sheets uh, regarding a cat called Benny. Uh, really, this video is just to demonstrate the functionality of the buttons and show how the spreadsheet is used. Uh, first of all, I might note that here on the constants page, there is a preset constant up here which determines the maximum permissible change in weight of an animal. If the change in weight exceeds this percentage, 10% in this case, the value will be highlighted. Let me go back to Benny here. And say I want to add a new animal. I do that by clicking on the button that says Add New Dog. Alternatively, I could hit Control D. Now I enter the name of the dog. I'll use my dog as an example. And enter and click on OK. Now I have to enter the permissible range of weights for the dog. Uh, so the ideal range for this dog is between 80 and 90 pounds. First of all, I enter the minimum weight, 80. Click OK. Now the maximum weight, 90 in this case and click OK. Now we have created a new uh, sheet for the dog called Molly. Uh, the sheet is highlighted in blue to indicate that it is a dog. And we want to input some weights here. The sheet is protected to avoid me entering in data where I'm not permitted to do so. And I add weight by clicking on the button that says add entry and say this weight was added on the first of this year now I enter the weight say Molly was uh, low side of her desired weight range 80 pounds Okay, the weight has now been added to the spreadsheet and the first data point has been added to the graph. Let me add some more weighings here. Let's say a week later, one, eight. Click OK. Say Molly has gained a couple of pounds. Click OK. At any point, I can add comments here. And for instance, I could say changed food. Uh, now you can see the graph has changed slightly. Let me add some more weights here. Uh, let's say this is another week later. Okay. I don't have to enter the year if I don't want to, if it's a current year and say we've gained a little bit more weight. The graph continues. Let's say we lose a little bit of weight at this point. And I will continue gaining a little bit more weight Let's see, we next do the weighing on the 10th.
Note that we've now reached the maximum of our permitted range. If Molly gains a little bit more weight, we're going to be outside that desired range. Let's see what happens. Now you will see that this has been highlighted with this uh, dotted background to indicate that Molly's weight has now exceeded the desired range. Let's see we put her on a starvation diet and uh, let her lose a lot of weight here. Ah, apparently I made an error and you can see I got my date entry wrong there. I can delete that last entry here by clicking and now add in the new value again. Uh -huh. I see what happened. Uh, actually, I entered a date that was not permissible. We don't have 30 days in February. Let me try that one more time. Okay, we're now outside the permitted range. Let's put her on a starvation diet. We're kind of close to it. And let's drop 10 pounds in weight. Rather extreme, but here we go. Now you'll see it's highlighted in red. We've had a weight change of greater than 10%. The graph reflects the uh, weight changes over time. And if I look here at the end, I have a summary sheet that summarizes the weights of the different animals. And here I can see that Molly has been highlighted. Over the last couple of readings, her weight changed by greater than 10%. Anyway, that's a, a quick overview of how uh, the spreadsheet works for um, for the vet tech and actually Molly appeared here because it was added uh, we could always change that order of the tabs to put it with the other dogs but right now because Molly was just an experimental um, demonstration of the spreadsheet let's go ahead and remove Molly from the spreadsheet by clicking on remove this animal I am prompted to say that uh, do I really want to delete Molly? Yes, I want to do this. And now you'll see Molly has been deleted from the summary sheet and there is now no more entry for that. Thank you for watching this brief demonstration of the VetTech spreadsheet.